Hey everybody, this is James again with Trucks Customs. Just wanted to do a quick video of one of my models I just completed. Um, this is the Revell 55 Ford Pickup Street Rod. Um, this is the 2005 release. is molded in blue. Of course, this has been done in a dozen, dozen and a half different releases. It's got the 5.0 liter engine in it. Um, I really like the molded blue that it came in, so I didn't actually paint this one. I just decaled it up. And I didn't paint the body. I did some other painting to it, some detail painting. Uh, you can see it was pretty cheap, $9.44. That's pretty good. came with some glue, it came with paint, and it came with brushes. Of course, I only used some of that paint for some minor stuff. I also purchased the additional paint. Sorry about the shakiness, guys, but I don't have a tripod yet, so we're working with the, what we have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move the box out of the way. And uh, this is one of my favorite trucks of all time, by the way. I really like to have one of these in, in real life. Maybe not necessarily exactly like this, but, but I would like to have this. Let's see here. And here we go. Here's what we have for the completed model. And I'll just take you a, a quick tour around it. Of course, it has the stock or those wheels that came. There was only one version available there, and you see the decals. The decal goes over the Ford emblem which it shows on the box painted and so they must have did some really nice um, cut work on that decal on the hood there I should have shaved those off but I didn't uh, you got the bed I painted the bed the wood with the silver slats in it and you can see some of the blue through it I think almost kind of gives it some aging to it there uh, so I, I enjoy painting my beds I think the next one I do I'm actually gonna cut that out and put some wood slats and some metal I got some ideas for that I have another one of these the new release which is the purple version um, it's molded in white but it's purple on the box with the flames this is some of the interior uh, you can see the steering wheel in there you can't really see a lot there's a decal on the dash for the gauges uh, swing around get you some of the detail on the seat I painted the interior flat black on the seat and it's tan um, painted the door handles, the mirrors, the chrome. I painted the the trim around the windshield there. Maybe you can see a little bit better the the tan interior there. Um, back here, I've got. I don't know if you can see it real good, but I've got the cranky head water slide that I picked up over at the Acme show in Atlanta. Doctor Cranky, he's great. The rear end hand painted the the bed there, the tail lights. Put one of the stock decals on for the license plate. Chrome's actually pretty nice on this. It's not too bad. Um, it's really difficult to see. the The window trim is black. It's flat black. But I also ed, um, edged out the body lines and used a backwash on it. It went really well. That was my first attempt at it. I'm going to pick this up and move it. The driver's rear wheel may come off. It tends to do that. They, they do roll. I'm going to turn it around here and give you a front view of it. It's a little hard to see in the light here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it a little bit more. Maybe get the, the light a little bit better. So you can see some of the detail. The decals are old, so they didn't stick the best, but see that there. I've got a little, the, the emblem on the front. I went ahead and painted it red. Um, that actually worked out really well. I didn't want to try to do the silver on it. It's pretty fine. It's going to be pretty difficult, and I didn't want to blot it up. Um, but let's open up the hood here and show you the 5.0. Um, I shortened up that stock. I cut a small section of that stock breather out to make it look a little bit better. I'm having trouble getting it to focus there. Put a little red dots on top of the distributor. Of course painted the cap. The tubing that came with it for the water from the intake to the radiator just didn't fit right so I took a piece of black wire um, probably around 14, 16 gauge, something like that. It's a little difficult to see from this angle with the light. You can see a little bit better that angle, maybe. You can see some of the painted red and the 5.0, the belt, the alternator. 
in there. Sorry about the light, guys. Once again, just trying to to work with what I have right now. I'm trying to get some more fluorescent light setting up. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, bring this to you. I, I really, once again, I really like this truck. I've got some modifications in mind for the next one that I'm going to do. And I, you know, I think these little kits, you know, they're pretty cheap. They're not the most detailed, but um, they're fun to build. And you know, there's a couple fold, couple fold. There's a couple um, fixture um, problem areas and stuff. But as far as that goes, I mean, we got that taken care of. Got a little fire extinguisher in there. I forgot. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that fire extinguisher or not down in there. I got that little fire extinguisher stuck down in the bottom. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I like this kit. It's it's fun to do. I'm interested to see what's gonna the next one's gonna turn out. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. The stance on this is already pretty low, but I'm gonna lower the you know another millimeter or two and get it's gonna be down in the weeds. The next one go around. I guess I didn't show you guys any of the detail on the bottom that I did, so I'll do that real quick. As you can see, that wheel fell off. Try to turn that here a little bit into the light a little bit better with the exhaust and the rear end there, the bottom of the engine. No wiring in this or anything like that. I'm still learning that. Uh, just a good flat black on the bottom with the steel or aluminum chrome tipped fixtures, red engine. It's got the Cobra in there. You can't hardly see that, but it's painted right up against the edge of that oil pan. But anyway, guys, thank you for looking. Uh, subscribe, leave any comments that you may have, any suggestions that you have for some finer detail work. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day.